Low metric lens, um, students who are breaking their metric, geography teachers and people who are curious and learning more about geography. Today we're going to be discussing a lesson on our very climate, which are first pockets. Yes, so yes, we're going to be discussing this very very easy topic today, frost pockets. And this topic usually comes out during exams, which are maths, March examinations, June examinations, um, trials, and even your your finals. Yes, frost pockets always come out. Yes, so yeah, they usually ask you questions like. Um, what are the negative impacts of these frost pockets or maybe why, how they form and so on you know yes but mostly they ask you about the, the effects and so on then let's get to the topic guys let's get to the lesson frost pockets okay as you can see in my diagram i've already wrote the catapatic winds which are going down the, the slope Yes, so I think you also know which time is this when these frost pockets form. Yes, I think you can see this is night, guys. Yes, they form during night, but they start to appear or they begin to appear during the, the morning. Yes, so I think you during morning, more especially in winter, more especially in winter, uh, because in winter it's very, very cold and so on right yes so the land also is, 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 is more cooler in the winter yes and so on and therefore um, the air on the valley floor will begin to condense and form these ice crystals which then in turn they are frost pockets okay yes so um, yes as I said I think I can't even say I think you know you know frost pockets like are those ice crystals that you usually see on the land during the morning right yes just before the sun rises right yes so basically what happens during night as I said guys as you can see as you can see, as we already also discussed, these um, catapatic winds back in our lesson. So during night, there were cold, dry winds on the side of the slopes. They sink down to the valley floor. Yes, and then the land cools due to terrestrial radiation so the land is cool now you can see the land is cool due to terrestrial radiation or i can say the the land has lost some warmth so the land is cooler now yes so these winds as these winds they go down into the valley floor they're denser so they are going to stay there they're not going to rise and so they are going to stay down the valley and then the freezing point or the dew point temperature of the air over the land is below freezing point and then the air will start to condense forming um, ice crystals yes so if the air was like um, around the dew point temperature at least it was going to form a dew you know a dew we also experience it during the, the the morning, but we are going to discuss you um, on the on the fog, radiation fog. Yes, but now we are still discussing frost pockets. Yes, so these um, winds are cold, dense. They are going to get underneath, or they are going to be dominant on the on the land over the land. Yes, also the land is cold has lost um, some warmth due to terrestrial radiation. So this um, the two point temperature of the air above the ground is below 
the freezing point, then this means the air will condense or the condensation process will take place, forming um, these ice crystals inside. Yes. So that's how these frost pockets form. Can you see this? Can you see these ice crystals inside? These are ice crystals. You can see. You can see this is the the frost. The frost. These ice crystals we call them frost because they are on the land, right? Yes, the frost. Yeah. So that's how the frost form. And so. On. And also, guys, these um, frost pockets, they, they also form um, in the areas where humidity is high, right? Where warm air is high, then this warm air leaving the, the ground, right? Yes. So, that's how they form and so on. So, those are the areas that mostly form, yes these frost pockets okay yes so um, to just write notes for you um, I can say um, cold dry air during night the cold dry cold dry air Called dry air, um, the cold, dense, dry air, right? Yes, you can say dense, yeah. Yeah, we have dense, cold, cold, dry, dense air, cold, dense, dry. Doesn't make sense. Let me put um, dense here, cold. Okay, I think there's a problem with my pen. This means that the cold, the cold dry air, cold dry dense. Let's put dense here. I forgot dense again. Hey, the cold dense air. Uh, Gets underneath, or I can say the cold dense air becomes becomes dominant on the ground. Become dominant on on the ground. The this means the cold dry dense air become dominant on the ground. Yes, and just before there was warm air lived due to terrestrial radiation. Then the fall, the land cools. Land cools. You can say the land also cools due to terre, terrestrial radiation. Land cool due to terrestrial radiation. Yes. Um, the dew point. Temperature. Dew point temperature. Of the air. Above. The dew point temperature of the air above the the valley floor. The dew point temperature of the air above the valley floor. Um, 
is below is below freezing freezing point yes so the two point temperature of the air above the baby floor is below freezing point and then forming 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 um, ice crystals on the land forming ice crystals on the land and mind you guys these ice crystals are the frost that we are going and the uh, things that we are going to say during morning a frost right yes frost pockets and so on that's how they they form and also during morning you can also see during when you're experiencing these frost pockets um it's so white the, the land becomes white because of the ice on the land um you can also say that can influence the farmers can affect the farmers I can say so that can affect the farmers negatively because the crops um, will die because of the ice on the land instead of some water so crops will, will die crops will die and that um, will drive farmers too and that will drive farmers too to plant um, frost resistant crops Frost resistant crops. Yes. Um, I think I'm done now, guys. See you in the next lesson. Yes. Um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, like and comment. Thank you so much.